Okay guys, here's a community in Hope Sound, Florida. It's called Woodbridge. It's a 55 and older mobile home community. And this is what it looks like driving in. You see the signature palm trees of South Florida. This is Southeast Florida. It is just north of Jupiter, Florida. So Hope Sound is very close to an exclusive part of Florida. Uh, Palm Beach County, uh, Jupiter and Juno Beach, Florida. And this is affordable living. Excuse that noise. Uh, these mobile homes here, you can get for uh, under a hundred thousand, uh, depending on when they're listed. Obviously, uh, real estate fluctuates. But this is the type of community that a person on a fixed income or someone who is uh, living uh, frugally could live by um, a premier location in Florida right by Jupiter, Florida, without paying the high property taxes or without paying, uh, you know, a high amount to live because you're just uh, 10 minutes away from the Atlantic Ocean, uh, 10, 15 minutes away from great shops, etc. So we'll, we'll uh, go down some of these streets and we'll talk a little bit uh, more uh, about the community and we'll take a look, you know, we'll have some fun here in this video. Now, on this street here, it's lots 52 through 69. You see this uh, mobile home unit here. It has a nice carport, okay? And you can have a couple cars, and you have a nice dwelling, and you have nice landscaping. And this uh, mobile home here, I'm going to make a left into. It's a blue mobile home. It's lot 53. It's for sale by owner. And they don't have their price uh, advertised on the sign, so you'd have to call the number, okay? But you can take a look. It's a single wide. It's a single wide mobile home, okay? And you know, I'm sure you can get that for, uh, you know, under a hundred thousand at the time I make this, and that's pretty good. And, you know, your neighbors are relatively close again because you know you're in the mobile home community, but this is. A 55 and older community. So what does that do? That mitigates some risk that you're not going to have young people partying. You're going to have an older demographic that has most of their partying out of them. Um, and that just mitigates some risk. And, um, you know, certainly you're going to have to comply with, uh, you know, some level of HOA rules. You're also going to uh, have to understand the financial dynamics, okay, of HOAs, of uh, co-ops versus condos, etc. Because I believe that this is a co-op, not a condominium community. Meaning that you own the land, but you own a share in the community land. You don't own individual lots. You own the right of the lease for the lot that your home is on, but you own a share in the community land. You know, you're not, you're not lot leasing per se because you are going to own a share uh, of the uh, land it's just that they structure the legal terms differently in a co-op versus a condominium association and you have to do the research because they're all different but that's the basic dynamic don't don't get uh, too nervous about that and then across the street you know you have some single family homes uh, but it's mainly a big church uh, and not much else. There's just that one single family home. And then to the right there is uh, First Baptist Church. And we'll turn out of the sun here. But this community, again, it's it's like kind of tucked away. It's a very a simple community. And you see there's a lot of vacancy. Because, again, you probably have a lot of snowbirds. You probably have a lot of people uh, that buy in here. And then uh, they pass away. It gets, uh, gets caught up in an estate sale. Uh, and the kids take some time to liquidate it. And so, you know, this is a nice done one here, lot 39. I like that tan and that white. But that looks vacant. Look at the little cute carport. It's a little cute carport, right? A little cover. Cute. So, you know, you paint one of these mobile homes. Paint does a lot. You know, believe it or not, you paint your little mobile home. And if you keep the landscaping up, and that's the good part about an HOA, I mean... There's some bad parts of an HOA, like everything. 
But the good part is you keep a common level of upkeep, a common level of uniform structure that keeps a common form of equity in the land. And if you're all owning the land together, whether you're in a co-op or a condominium, that's wisdom. Uh, obviously, everyone has a different personality. Some people like to be totally on their own, no rules other than the municipality rules. So yeah, it's teach their own, right? But if you don't want to do the lawn, a co-op or an HOA is good. I don't want to do the lawn. Take the good with the bad. This is a beautiful single wide here with a big carport. And you see the professionally hired landscapers are doing the lawn. So, you know, that's my style. i rather pay a monthly HOA fee that gives you uh, lawn maintenance, pool, common upkeep, roads done, rather than do that all myself, you know. But teach your own. Down this road, too, was was another home for sale. Let's see if we can find it. But you see, it's a very peaceful, small, little mobile home community that's affordable. And that's what you're looking for. Uh, southeast Florida, 10 minutes from the ocean, just north of Jupiter, uh, Florida. It's it's the win. You know, again, though, it's some people may say, I don't want to live in a whole mobile home community. I don't want to live in an HOA. I don't want to deal with a co-op. You know, so there are people that, you know, it's not for everyone, okay? Everything is not for everyone, but that's what makes a market, and that's what makes the world go round, right? So, and you do have uh, your own mailboxes here. Just trying to get you a feel and have some fun. You know, everyone likes to look at houses, uh, including me. It's fun. Houses, cars, RVs. Just remember, live below your means. Remember that your daily routine, whenever you buy a house, it should enhance your daily routine. It shouldn't be your prison, and it shouldn't tie you down. So if you're not ready to, to stabilize and develop your routine within one place, then don't buy or don't, you know, just rent to you or nomad. See, right ahead is that little uh, blue, that blue lot is for sale. Let's see if we can pull in to see how much that is. And it's got a pull-through driveway. I like that. So it just says for sale by owner, and it's lot 101. But what a cute lot this is. Use the windshield wipers. I think this is uh, a unique one, too, because it has this nice pull-through driveway. I like this. But it doesn't say how much. And it looks like the carpets were just ripped out. So that's interesting. And then that guy's taking care of uh, some siding. Oh, no, he's putting up lights. But this is a nice little community, Woodbridge community. Again, I believe it's a co-op in Hope Sound, Florida, just north of Jupiter Beach. And uh, to the right here, it looks like here's their clubhouse, right, where they have a little shuffleboard, which nobody ends up playing these shuffleboard games. I don't know. I guess that was in the 70s when that was like a big recreational thing. And this is just another suite. We pretty much went through the whole community. So you see it's not a huge community, a little drizzle here. And one thing I like about South Florida in the tropics, it's not a desert, so you get some rain. But when the rain comes, it passes quick, and the sun's out, and it's a beach day. And uh, this guy here has got a van to the left. So you see he can have vans, and it looks like I saw a pickup truck or two. So the restrictions are not that tight, uh, and that's a nice little cute van. Yeah, ideally, you know, maybe have a little mobile home and then a little van for adventure, you know. Um, that's a good setup, right? So, yeah, this is a cute little community, guys, Woodbridge. We pretty much went through the whole thing. And now, when you make a left, you know, one of the exits out of the community, it pretty much takes you right back to where we started, which is Route 1, which is a major highway right off the east coast of Florida. So, and it looks like, too, they have RV storage to the left. So, this is Woodbridge. Let me know your thoughts below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Thank you to all my members. If you want to support the channel, I appreciate that. Click that blue join button. Gratitude to everyone who watches. I hope my videos help, inspire, encourage you. Um, remember, stay flexible until you find the area that inspires you and that you can build a routine around. And even then, there, nothing's going to be perfect. But what you want to do is find a climate, a culture. You want to understand the pros and the cons. You want to live below your means, and you don't want your prison. You don't want your house to become your prison. You want it to be what it is—a sanctuary at the end of the day or during the day—but you don't want it to 
keep you prisoner financially, emotionally, or mentally. And that takes a lot of time to figure out. I know it did for me. So thank you again for watching. Let's stay as positive and as healthy as we can. I know it's not easy, so I don't want to give you a false thing, but do the best you can. Thank you for watching.